Hello folks, this is a 19.4 kW solar array we just got done building here in South Carolina. This is a very uh, cutting edge system for 2017. It's got high voltage DC inverters and uh, they're about almost 600 feet away from the house. So we had a really long conduit run. This is another job me and my buddy engineer 775 installed together so some of it's a little bit experimental these are the pica 7601 inverters and they use high voltage batteries which we haven't hooked a high voltage battery up to it yet but these are their pv links We've got nine panels going into each one of these and uh we've got the the strings fused these are inline fuses and then the output of each PV link there's one got nine panels this one's got nine panels and they are tied together with these Y connectors so we're, we got each PV links handing about handling almost uh, 5 kW and uh, or no each PV link is about 2500 watts that's 5 kW solar there and there. This is on our Schletter FS mounting system. We always do this one if we can. It's just super fast. I'm talking to another solar guy, a friend of mine, on the phone this morning. He, he works for another company and he was telling me about how they do a different type of ground mount because they, they like to figure out how to keep their guys busy, which is just totally ridiculous and counterproductive to making solar cheaper. So this is uh, the fastest, cheapest way for us to get a system in that's super strong and looks super good. It does require a big digging machine, but those are a dime a dozen. You can run it at Home Depot. These are the disconnects. These are 600 volt disconnects. Got them going into this uh, pull box. And from there, the conduit run goes all the way to the house. Here's a... Uh, Picture of the module nameplate. Thai Sun Solar modules. 270 watt mono. And they're not mono, they're poly. The poly module kind of got a blue color to it, but it's got the black frame, so it looks pretty good. Scott and them did a good job putting it together. Now I'm going to take you into the mech room, show you how it's working. Look at there's, there he is right there. If you look through those trees in the far distance, you can see the corner of the solar array. So here's the trench. People are always, not always, but I get this comment a lot on estimates that the solar is too far away from the house where they would put it so they can't do it. And that's just not true. If you go high enough voltage, like we're coming in at 380 volt DC, Here's our pull box. Bunch of gravel in it. Bunch of split bolts. Now those are Polaris lugs. So when you go at this high voltage, you can do that. No voltage drop. Less than 3%. So there's the house. This is the Power wall side of the system. These are the two 7600 watt inverters that the solar array that you saw is being inverted um, from. So we're feeding, feeding about 10,000 watts into them. And by the time you derate everything, each one of those is peaking out at around 8,000 watts. Each one of these is a lockable AC disconnect. These are fuse disconnects because we line side tapped off the meter and then, uh, off the feeders in the bottom of the meter. See our 12 inch wireways. Thought they were going to be too big, but they actually fit really good. And uh, these are going to be two future secure lobes panels for the other two PICA inverters. There's one pica in this unit and one pica in this unit. 
and uh, like I said they're kind of kind of futuristic inverters they have a uh, high voltage DC input they have a rebus on them it's a 380 volt bus and you can put a battery on there high voltage battery high voltage solar array you can put high voltage uh, wind turbine that Pika makes on there so pretty good little inverters there's they're still, uh, they're still in there. I wouldn't call it infancy, but what would you call it, Ralph? What's that? The stage that Pike is at with these inverters. Where are they? They're in the early stages. They're in the early stages. So there's that Pika inverter. The power core, you can swap it really easy. Ooh, that was hot. And uh, this is the rebus. Oh, my Lord. I'm gonna have him spring us the uh, cover. He ain't doing nothing here. Watch Scott's out. Huh? I think Scott's going to get it. No, he ain't. I'm gonna have Mike bring it here. He's gonna start. You can see that. How much power it's making. There you go. We keep him away from my chillers. Start changing things. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have Mike Roy bring it. Yeah. Nah, These are the chillers. So those big white chillers that I was showing you are doing a bunch of stuff for this house. They are making all the hot water. Um, they're pulling. They're pulling the heat. So this is summertime operation. They're pulling the heat out of the air in the house, and they're focusing it into the hot water heater and and making hot water. When the hot water heaters are satisfied, they switch around and they start filling one of these tanks. With hot water so he's able to run his chillers full bore when the sun's out and harvest the solar energy in the form of heat and cool for the house so he doesn't have to store any electricity in a battery to make hot water cool air or heat in the winter which is pretty awesome so he can he can get these tanks up to 120 degrees and he can get them down to close to freezing he's got glycol in there so it's can actually get it down below so he's these are imagine these as big solar thermal batteries so he's so he's gonna run that those chillers all day long full bore and keep store a bunch of energy in these two uh, in these two Calmac tanks see that one right there says ice bank and that's how he's that's how he's heating and cooling his house he's got a he's got a coil his HVAC unit, ow, bug just hit me. Got a cool one, his HVAC unit that he pumps the water through. Bunch of heat exchangers, super complicated, but in the end, it's a pretty cool system that um, I, I, I don't think anybody else is even thinking about. This is a beautiful job, too. Show you the mountains here. Awesome view of the mountains. That's, I can't remember what the name of that mountain is over there, but something, Table Rock or something. So, really cool job. Very thankful to have a job like this. And uh, if you like these videos, just follow our page, subscribe to my, my Gain Solar page, and follow me and keep showing you stuff. If you have any specific questions, let me know. We'll try to answer them. Thanks a lot.